McLaren Automotive's engineering and development team has been testing and developing the latest phase of prototypes at one of Europe's leading proving grounds for the last five weeks. This latest generation of vehicles that we've taken, experimental prototypes, what we like to call our XP beta vehicles, reflect the very latest state of development for the program. Previous XP vehicles have been built to test individual systems in isolation. But with our XP beaters, this is the first time those technologies and systems come together to reflect what we'll see in a true production vehicle. Some supercars that you drive are pretty intimidating. That's something with the MP412C that we've never really wanted. And I'm very pleased to be able to say the progress that we've made, again in this aspect, we're delivering bang on target. You can get in the car and within 100 meters feel inspired to drive the car, which is great. Everything we're trying to do with the car is to make the car as easy as possible to drive. So all the controls need to come at hand very easily. All the primary surfaces are ergonomically positioned to make them intuitive and obvious. Similarly with the sight lines, we wanted exterior visibility of the car on the road to be extremely good. Whether you're driving on the road or on the track, being able to see apexes of corners is extremely important in a high performance sports car. From the very onset, it's been extremely important for us for the car to achieve the very highest levels of performance and efficiency to put it at the very forefront of the sports car market. And I'm really pleased to be able to say that the ride, the handling, the steering, the brakes are all really, really very good and will require only minor tuning between now and the end of the programme. The big early steps of development are challenging, interesting, relying very much on simulation, relying on a huge amount of research. But now we're at a stage where we've made those great strides and we're trying to make everything fit. And that's why we're here in Idiada, trying to integrate all of those systems and attributes of the car. So the gearbox, the engine, the tuning and calibration of those, the chassis, the aerodynamics, everything is now meshing. And it's where the attention to detail really does become intense. Testing the XP Beta cars here in Idiada mirrors what we do in Formula One testing, certainly in its intensity. In fact, it may even surpass it. We're running 24-7. In that respect, it's a very intense but very productive test program. I am passionate about this car. I do love driving it. The team we have here at McLaren has been able to create some fantastic opportunities that the technology has allowed and that is to have something that's slow and comfortable and easy to drive but at the same time literally with the turn of a switch engaging all of the technology under the skin here we get a taut fast race car it's one of the fastest road cars that you can possibly get your hands on it's awesome on a racetrack and normally you can't have the two things but with this car we do